Everyone, it's Ross, and uh, here in Pennsylvania, we are in the fall, and things are really going dormant. And the fall time means a couple things uh, that come to me, at least especially. One is that we want to get down a lot of mulch. It's a good time to uh, add layers of compost, layers of mulch, even fertilizer that is organic that will break down over the course of the fall, course of the winter time and give our trees and our beds and all kinds of things just the proper nutrients they need to then start the season off right and something like organic fertilizer especially I like applying in the fall and you can also get really great deals on organic fertilizer um, right now you know especially in my area or colder places where the growing season ends it's more seasonal I got this here a four pound bag of organic fertilizer for only 70 cents <laughs> I got as many as I could that were there I got 14 of these bags so I spent about ten dollars and what is that four times 14 is 40 plus uh, 16 so I got 56 pounds of organic fertilizer for less than 10 bucks which is uh, well actually probably 10 bucks if you include tax so um, that's pretty nuts and what I've been what I'm doing now is you know I'm gonna actually go over to Lowe's I just, this is where I got this stuff at Home Depot Walmart has a similar thing but I'm not sure if that's really going on right now but we're gonna take this stuff here and we're gonna be spreading this all along the beds and you can see on the back it tells you exactly the application rates depending on the fertilizer you use you know it's important when we're buying stuff like this look at the ingredients where do the ingredients come from what materials are they using feather meal blood meal bone meal um, sulfate of potash and compost you know so we want to be using mostly organic materials that come from good sources good materials and that will give our beds a huge jump start and some other things I've done with my garden beds is kind of lay down some leaves or, or even some straw and just put that stuff wherever I need it. You know, wherever I need it the most, especially this fertilizer, because, you know, why fertilize my standard size peach trees that grow incredibly well? You know, there's, there's little desire for me to do that. I want to keep them smaller in actuality, you know? Even certain things like apples, don't really benefit in fact it may be a, a you know to your, a detriment that if you give them too much nitrogen at least from an inorganic source it's definitely a detriment to the to the tree uh, but in particular I want these trees to be really strong right these are my dwarf apple trees we just planted even more dwarf apple trees behind them so you know I really want certain things to grow and that's where I'm gonna put these the fertilizer the most especially though the garden beds because the garden beds you know they're they're growing mostly annuals right these need a lot more nutrients in these beds than your typical um, your typical tree or perennial um, now what I'll say about the garden beds is that and you can disagree with me but mostly Putting down layers of compost is, of course, going to be your best bet. Now, I like to do this every year. We added in compost here. You can see this This is fresh compost, fresh um, pine bark mulch that we put down. I really like germinating seeds in this material. Any kind of compost, if it's the right moisture level, I think it's the best. Um, so that's what I'd like to germinate in and, and use, that, use that as the structure of what I'm growing things in. But compost is nutritious for plants, but it doesn't last forever, right? The nutrients in there eventually goes away. It's not the most nutritious thing. You know, something like worm castings is a bit higher. You know, so that's why we need, unless we're going to add tons of compost every year, and we're growing really high density annuals you know if I'm gonna have in a three by three space 
nine tomato plants that are just sucking up all the nutrients, right? Don't you think it's a good idea to come in here with some fertilizer? And not just fertilizer, I want to talk about amendments, micronutrients. I can come in here with green sand, ironite, you know, inorganic, or organic, however you want to do it. You can come in here with uh, Epsom salts, you know, cover your three main micronutrients and cover all of them, you know, find yourself a source that will cover all of the micronutrients. People love to use rock, um, they used to love rock phosphate, but they also love to use, what's that other rock one that has like 50 trace minerals in it or whatever it is? I can't remember the name, but you know, that's what I'm talking about. Get some of that stuff and put it on here to cover your bases. If you haven't already, get a soil test. 